Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Canadians Montembolt and Hudson succeed at the World Cup. The Montreal Canadiens sent seven players to the 2023 World Cup, which will be held in Tampere, Finland and Riga, Latvia. Both Samuel Montembolt and Lane Hudson stood out from the crowd. But before we get to their performances, we would it would be remiss if we didn't he give a smack to the fans in Europe, especially those in Riga. Habs fans are used to being called the most boisterous fans in the league, and with good reason. But if we compare from fans in Montreal to fans in various European cities, we d quickly conclude that NHL fans just can t hold a candle to the cocky European fans. And this was particularly evident on Tuesday, when Team Latvia clinched a surprise 4th place 0-0 win 3. Overtime win against Switzerland in Riga, the fans were loud and strained, creating the kind of energy you often see at major European football matches. Of course tribalism plays a big part in international tournaments, and I don't want to take anything away from ice hockey fans in the United States, USA and Canada, but also in many national ice hockey league games in Europe. There is the same intensity as we saw with the Latvian fans who celebrated their country as great victory. Let us just put it this way, when Canadians fans are criticized for making a little too much noise, or participating in a few too many chants, they not only miss the wood for the trees, but also prevent other fans from letting off steam, and enjoy hockey games to the fullest. Sport is better when the fans create an energetic atmosphere, Canadians defender Justin Barron was demoted to 7th defender for most of the round robin, despite managing to provide an assist in Canada's 5-1 win over Kazakhstan. Montembolt, on the other hand played a crucial role. He established himself as the Canadian starting goalkeeper. He parried 85 of the 90 shots he faced for a sparkling .944 save rate. It could be argued that he struggled in Canada's 3-2 defeat by Switzerland but as Canada followed up there.